about a month ago, I bought a new dehumidifier for my crawl space. My crawl space is about 3,000 square feet. And I already have a 30 pint Frigidaire. And I bought a larger 50 pint Frigidaire. And at that time I ran a video and I ran a test. And I'll show you the test now. I started to get a, <clears throat> a little more scientific. So I marked the level where the water was. Now I'm going to dump this bucket into that bucket to see whether the big one actually extracted more water than the little one in the same amount of time. Spilled a little, but not much. Huh. I didn't spill hardly any. I'd say three or four ounces. But this is really disappointing. <laughs> the little one, in the same amount of time actually extracted more water out of it than the big one did. Go figure that. The test was to see if the 50 pint or how much more water the 50 pint would uh, take out of, out of the air in the same amount of time as a 30 pint. And at that time the test showed that actually the 30 pinter took a little more water or moisture out of the air than did the 50 pinter. Someone sent me a comment suggesting that I run the test again after about a month of operation. So I've run the test again and here are the results. You're gonna be surprised. Someone suggested I redo the test on my dehumidifiers to see whether or not uh, the little one actually was filling faster than the big one. So what I'm gonna do, is take this off the hose. Put this on. I'm gonna set a timer for four hours. The ball's down at the bottom. I just emptied the other one just started running and the ball is down at the bottom I need to put them both on continuous run So they're both on continuous run. I'm going to set my timer for four hours. Uh, stopwatch. I want timer. No wonder it wouldn't work. Oh, it's already set for four hours. And we'll start it. We'll come back four hours later and see which one's the fullest. All right, it's been four hours. The small one is right there. I'll mark it and you can see the bigger one. So I'll empty the small one and pour the bigger one into it. We'll see how they compare. Okay, I'm gonna try to carefully pour this one in. Last time it, I spilled half of it, or some of it anyway.
Well, as you can see, the bigger one, the level is down just a hair, about, I don't know, three-eighths of an inch. So the bigger unit takes less moisture out of the air in the same amount of time. It's, it's empty, and I didn't hardly spill a drop. So what does that tell you? Well, there you have it. I think maybe this 30 pint, 50 pint, 70 pint thing is just a big scam. You notice they weigh almost the same and I'm not gonna tear them apart. I need them <laughs> and they're too expensive to tear apart. But I just wonder if you tore them apart when you got inside, if the compressor and the coil and all this stuff is not exactly the same. You know, the only thing that makes it a 50 pint is that it's got a bigger tank to collect it in. And that is really a scam. All right, guys. Hey, thanks for watching. Appreciate you. If you got any comments below, why, let me know. This is just what I think. You tell me what you think. Hey, goodbye for now.